today we are going to study trigonometric equations. Question number one. Solution of sine x plus cos x equal to two is. Let's see. Sin x plus cos x equal to on squaring sin square x plus cos square x plus two sin x cos x equal to four. This is one. So two sin x cos x equal to 3 sin 2x equal to 3 but value of sin function can't be greater than that so no solution is possible consider question number 2 if tan of cot x equal to cot of tan x, then sin 2x equals. So we can write it tan of cot x. Here, since cot 90 minus theta equal to tan theta, so we can write it like tan pi by 2 minus tan x. Now, it becomes cot x equal to pi by 2 minus tan x or tan x plus cot x equal to pi by 2. Now, here we can simplify it. So it will become sin x upon cos x plus cos x upon sin x equal to pi by 2. Here one thing we can do at this level if we apply tan x equal to tan y then x equal to n pi plus y then it will be simpler. So let's proceed that way. So instead of going like this, we can change the method. So this will become cot x equal to n pi plus pi by 2 minus tan x or cot x plus tan x equal to n pi plus pi by 2. We can write cot x as cos x upon sin x and tan x as sin x upon cos x. And after taking LCM, we will get sin square x plus cos square x divided by sin x cos x equal to n pi plus pi by now further one upon sine x cos x equal to n pi plus pi by two or we can multiply by two here two here so this will become sine two x so we can say two upon sine two x equal to n pi 
plus pi by 2. Further, we can write it as sin 2x upon 2 equal to 1 upon n pi plus pi by 2 or sin 2x will be equal to 4 upon pi times 2n plus 1 which is the required solution. Now let's consider question number three. Question three says if sine six theta plus sine four theta plus sine two theta equal to zero, then what is theta? So here we can take sine six theta, sine two theta together and we can apply sine c plus sine d so it will come to sine c plus d by 2 that is 4 theta into cos c minus d by 2 so that would be 2 theta plus sine 4 theta equals 0 sine 4 theta can be taken common then 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 equal to 0 sine 4 theta equal to 0 or cos 2 theta equal to minus half. Now, sine 4 theta will be equal to n pi. So, 4 theta will be equal to n pi, then theta equal to n pi by 4. And here, cos 2 theta can be equal to minus 1 by 2 means cos 2 pi by 3 and we know if cos theta equal to cos alpha then theta is 2 n pi plus minus alpha that comes in, we can apply here so 2 theta equal to 2 n pi plus minus 2 pi by 3 or theta equal to n pi plus minus pi by 3. So, our answer. Now, let's consider question number 4. Question number 4 says, number of solution of equation 3 sine square x minus 7 sine x plus 2 equals 0 h. Interval is given 0 to 5 pi. Now let's consider the solution 3 sine square x minus 7 sine x plus 2 equal to 0. So here we can write it 3 sine square x minus 6 sine x minus sine x plus 2 equal to 0 on factorization. So we get sine x minus 2 times 3 sine x minus 1 equal to 0 from where we get sine x equal to 2 which is not possible and another value is sine x equal to 1 by 3 which is possible. Now, if we plot the graph and check this is pi equal to sine x curve. So this is pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, and five pi. So in this range, we have to check the value of sine x as 1 by 3. So here, 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 here. It means six possibilities are there. So there are six solutions. Now, let's consider question number five. Question number five says, number of solutions of equation, you are given 10x plus 6x 
equal to cos x. The interval is 0 to 2 pi. Here again, let's try. So we can write it sine x upon cos x plus 1 upon cos x equal to 2 cos x. So if we take LCM, so cos x, so sine x plus 1 equal to 2 cos square x, which can be written as 2 into 1 minus sine square x minus sine x minus 1 equal to 0 or 2 sine square x plus sine x minus 1 equal to 0. So on factorization, we get sine x equal to half and sine x equal to minus 1. Now, this value, here first of all, let's consider sine x equal to half means what? Sine x equal to half means x will be equal to 5 by 6 and 5 pi by 6. And here, this value will be x equal to minus 5 by 2. Now, if we consider this value and we put it here, so what do we get? Tan of minus pi by 2 will give minus infinity. So this value can't be included. And these two values are possible. Now let's consider next question. Question number six. Question number six says, if root three cos theta plus sine theta equal to root two, then what is general value of theta? So what we can do? We can divide each term by two. So root three by two cos theta plus one by two sine theta equal to this will become one upon root two and uh, this can be written as psi 60 degree and this is cos 60 degree so it will become sine 5 by 3 plus theta equal to this is sine 5 by 4 now we know that if sine x equal to sine y then x equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n into y. So from here we get pi by 3 plus theta equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n into pi by 4. So theta will be equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n pi by 4 minus pi by 3 which is our answer. Now consider next question. Question number seven. Question seven says, general value of theta in equation two root three cos theta equal to tan theta is. So let's consider the solution. Two root three cos theta equal to sine theta upon cos theta. Now, 2 root 3 cos square theta equal to sin theta. Further, we write it 2 root 3 1 minus sin square theta equal to sin theta. Now, minus 2 root 3 sine square theta minus sine theta plus 2 root 3 equal to using quadratic formula we solve it so we get sine theta equals 1 
plus minus root 49 divided by minus 4 root 3 or 1 plus minus 7 divided by minus 4 root 3. So it will give sine theta equal to from here. So first value will be A divided by minus 4 to 3 and uh, another value will be sine theta equal to from here minus 6 upon minus 4 root 3 that will give 3 upon 2 so, so it will become root 3 by this value can't be accepted so this value is possible so we can write general solution theta equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n and this is equal to sine pi by 3 so let's consider question number 8 Question number eight says general value of theta satisfying cos theta equal to one upon root two and tan theta equal to tan theta equal to minus one. So this value plus head super two. Okay. So here cos theta is positive, tan theta is negative. So got it. Now, so let's determine what is this value. So for cos theta equal to 1 upon root 2, it means theta equal to, it means theta equal to either pi by 4 or 7 pi by 4 and uh, for tan theta equal to minus 1 theta will be equal to 3 pi by 4 or 7 pi by 4 so common solution to both will be 7 pi by 4 theta must be 7 pi by 4 so we can write general solution as theta equal to two n pi plus seven pi by four. Now consider question number nine. Question number nine says general solution of equation root three minus one sine theta plus root 3 plus 1 times cos theta equal to each. So first let's find root 3 minus 1 square plus here root is root 3 minus 1 square plus root 3 plus 1 square under so it will give root 8, which is 2 root 2. So we can divide each term by 2 root 2. So root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 sine theta plus root 3 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 cos theta equal to 2 upon 2 root 2, which will be 1 upon 2 root 2. Now we can assume this is sine alpha and this is cos alpha. So sine alpha sine theta plus cos alpha cos theta equal to one upon root two. So this is equal to cos theta minus alpha equal to this is cos pi by four. So theta minus alpha 
equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 4. Then theta equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 4 plus alpha. We have to determine what is alpha. So here we have assumed this as sin alpha. Sorry, this term root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 as sin alpha and this as cos alpha. If we divide the two, so we will get sin alpha equals root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1, which can be written as tan pi by 3 minus pi by 4. It has tan a minus b, we give tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b. So from here, alpha will be equal to pi by 3 minus pi by 4, which will be equal to pi by 12. So in place of alpha, we can put pi by 12. Now let's consider question number 10. Question number 10 says the most general solution of root 3 cos theta plus sine theta equal to root 2 each. So we can divide each term by 2 cos theta plus 1 by 2 sine theta equal to root 2 by 2 that is 1 upon root 2. Now cos pi by 6 cos theta plus sine pi by 6 sine theta equal to 1 upon root 2. This can be written as cos theta minus pi by 6 equal to cos pi by 4. So theta minus pi by 6 will become 2n pi plus minus pi by 4 or theta equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 4 plus pi by 6. That is our answer. Thank you.